So, so I have to tell you this. It's very, very important. Okay. Oh, fuck me. He's back, bitches. Why? My boyfriend's a hero. He came over with little tiny screwdrivers and then fixed them for me. I'm back. I don't like your boyfriend. Well, I'm sure he'll be happy to hear that. I don't like your boyfriend. I think my being happy is a greater priority to him than yours. I'm not sure about that. If it helps, he also bought me this for my birthday. Okay, okay, it's it's monkey. I'm I'm down with the monkey. Okay, Tara. I figured I would bomb disembodied orgasm hippo with the monkey it's for monkey. you. <laughs> Everyone loves monkeys. Pizza and monkeys. Everyone loves pizza and monkeys. Okay, I'm going to warn the audience before we get to our first story. If you are squeamish or have an issue with spiders, and I know people have some serious issues with spiders, you may want to step away for a little bit or look away from the screen and just, you know, because we'll talk, but you don't have to look at it. So, but anyway, here we go. Let's get started. Each week, Catherine goes out the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible things, brings it back here in a little segment we like to call... What the fuck is wrong with you? And oh my. Now this isn't exactly what the fuck is wrong with you. This is, this is more. What the fuck is wrong with nature? How, how, this is, this is evidence that we have no good and loving creator. Is what I'm saying. Or but we just proved that we do like two weeks ago. Well, we proved he's an asshole. It's raining spiders. In southern Brazilian town. The Weather Girls did not do a song about that. Why can, yeah, why couldn't it be raining men? No, <laughs> it's raining spiders. Hallelujah, it's raining spiders. And yes, kids, oh, no. we have video. Yeah, the video is pretty terrible. It's like you, you want to play a night at Bald Mountain behind it, you know? Cause just yeah. paratrooping spiders. And no folks, those those spiders aren't hanging in midair. They're suspended on tiny little strands of silk and they're just floating through the air. It's a giant web. Yep. They and they're yeah. doing they planned this shit, ladies and gentlemen. They all got together and this was a plan. Um, people with a fear of spiders may get creeped out over a video that has surfaced showing hundreds of arachnids dangling from a massive web. Uh, the video showed some of the spiders moving quickly up and down their massive web while the videographer pans out the sky to reveal even more spiders. They're social spiders who are known to construct massive webs. Uh, the video was shot by a local resident, Eric Rees, who said he was shooting an engagement party at the time. Can you imagine? You're having your engagement party. Maybe it's, you know, the weather's nice, so it's a nice outdoor thing. You do. Raining spiders. I wonder what kind of marriage omen that is. <sighs> it's raining spiders. That pretty much sums it up. Don't get married. Because you don't know what the fuck else is going to come out of the sky next. Well, I don't know. I mean, aren't spiders considered good luck in some? I, I don't know. I don't know that much about the... um mythology of spiders to be honest shit like this proves to me that if there is a god he is he's a prankster <laughs> it appears someone objected to this union couldn't hold their peace hey 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 jesus hey jesus watch this watch this this is gonna be awesome <laughs> next we're gonna tp hell <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Well, let's get back to our more normal 
stuff going on here. Uh, now that we've horrified everybody, sleep well, children. And you know what? I, I hate. The- they say that the average person like swallows eight spiders a year in their sleep. I don't remember where I read that, but I remember reading that somewhere that like in your like you inhale them and you just swallow them in your sleep. Apparently, that's a myth. So the Internet says you're safe, everybody. Okay. This is sort of more normal territory for us, which is kind of sad. And, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's Florida. It's Florida, obviously. Naked man runs through Dokin Dunkin' Donuts, police say. A naked, oh, what? that's not supposed to happen. Why did that happen? Why did what happen? Computer being stupid. Anyway. A naked man who hid his face with a white shirt ran through a Dunkin' Donut shop in uh, Palmetto. Surveillance video shows the man did have his socks and shoes on. You know, the sign says you do. Um, And nothing else. Okay, of all the places to try this, I I would think that would be the most ill-timed. Because what are you what are you looking at? You just have a hulk of horror on your face. I'm thinking if you had a shirt. <laughs> well, no way. Why a not second. use it to cover your person? Wait a instead second. Instead of your face. He had a shirt. He had shoes. But the sign didn't say fuck all about pants. I suppose it doesn't say that you have to wear the shirt properly. Yes, exactly. He was wearing a shirt. Just. But here's the thing. Like, just because you have not technically violated the Dunkin Donuts service rule doesn't mean you've not violated the law. Which is that's just you run into Dunkin Donuts. Like, it's not its own little fiefdom. And your penis is hanging out. And suddenly there's a bunch of cops standing there. Well, not your penis. No, 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 no. I just, I, you know, but they have those um, stick donuts. Yes, yes, yes. There's dozens of cops. Is there that cream filled? Trying to enjoy their breakfast. <laughs> and they turn around and they look. And while they're holding their eclairs, which are cream filled and they have mm-hmm. their hot coffee and they turn around and look. And there you are with a penis. And all they wanted to do was get fucking donut and coffee before they go out and protect and serve or whatever the hell it is cops do. This is not a this is this is kicking a hornet's nest. Why? This was this a dare? Probably. Well, it was a bad dare. I mean, why else would you bother covering your face and streak at the Dunkin Donuts? Like, it's probably some kind of fucking frat hazing or something, if I had to guess. Now, that that is that is a dare that needs to include bail money. Yeah. I mean, if they were really going to like he didn't stop to order a donut. Lame. You make that fucker go up and order like a, a hundred munchkins. You make him order a coffee culotta and then stick his dick in it in front of the cops. If you're going to dare somebody, fucking dare them. Don't be pussies about it. Uh, all right. So. Are those things really called long johns? <laughs> Everybody's talking oh, about God. long johns and I'm thinking of like thermal underwear. Is oh, that what God, that thing is called? Oh, God, I hope they are. I hope they are. They are. Because the Dunkin' Donuts near me just call them like jelly stick or, you know. Long johns. Oh, oh God, I hope they are. Okay. So we have more Florida. And this one is, this is pants on, well, no, that was shirt on head crazy. Well, this is just crazy, because I don't, I, what is this? I don't even. Florida man says he's Obama and attempts to abduct children. Buenvendo Citron, and I'm amazed I said that. Buenvendo, Buenvendo, 
Buenvenido. 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 Uh, bienvenido. Bienvenido. It's Spanish for welcome, so that's an interesting name. Bienvenido Centron, 34, allegedly tried to grab Shahara Smith's four-year-old daughter and three-year-old son after exiting the nearby woods in Lake Lisa Park, yelling, I am Obama, and holding a Bible. Now, I want to point out, Catherine and I came up with something a long time ago. It's the fuck you, I'm a, I have a Bible principle. And it's people seem to think they can get away with anything if they're holding a Bible. You've seen the movie Saved, right? No. but Oh my god. I There's should. a scene where Mandy Moore is like flipping out on somebody and she throws a Bible at them and goes, I am filled with Christ's love. It's, it's pretty good. Cintron was also ranting about being sent by God to quote, rid the country of drug dealers and prostitutes. That's when he spotted Smith and the children. He approached them called the boy a drug dealer and the girl a prostitute. Okay. I would just like to point out that this dude looks nothing like Obama. Yeah, let's let's get him up on the base screen because that's Yeah, let's let's have a look. You're not Obama. You are not Obama. I'm sorry. Not that's that's he, not Obama. He doesn't look anything like Obama. If you're going to claim to be somebody famous, try to look like them. Apparently they tried. All right. They tried to get away and it just kept following them. And when he was able How to get, old were these kids? Three four, four? and three. And he accused them of being prostitutes and drug dealers. I think your intel might be a little off. Your I mean, snitch might have be- lied. I mean, those would be really enterprising kids. Smith called the police, told them as he drove off. She saw Cintron walking toward teenagers to help them. Uh, Smith also told police the very boys who helped her were the ones he recognized chastising earlier in the day for cursing in front of his children for being too rowdy. Okay, so these two teenagers pretty much held off the crazy man saying he was Obama and wanted to take the kids away. They had, and these this family had yelled at them for cussing in front of the kids. Well, good for them. Way to turn it around, teenagers. If I was one of the kids, I'd be like, yeah, you learned your fucking lesson now, didn't you, huh? Got some Aesop fable moral shit going on for you, huh? I don't really think so. I don't think so either. I'm just coming up with stuff. I don't know. I don't think karma works like that. God, I hope karma doesn't work like that. (laughs) Okay, I... I understand sometimes you just gotta smuggle stuff. And we've seen many a thing smuggled. Birds, drugs, this one... Woman attempts to hide $31,200 in her stomach. X-ray reveals at least 39 different bundles. Oh my God. I know. Guatemala woman was arrested in Panama International Airport. She tried to enter the country. More than $31,000 in cash hidden in a very unusual place. 42-year-old, whose identity was withheld, stashed the cash inside her stomach. She was arrested after exhibiting, quote, suspicious behavior, which promoted police to conduct an x-ray. Yes, I think grabbing your stomach and screaming in agony is suspicious. Everybody knows the human stomach can't carry more than $10,000 at a time. (laughs) God. Oreo says, get a fucking wallet. Yes. I don't think... I don't think wallets come that big. You had $32,000. Take 10 bucks of that. Go to Walmart. Buy a wallet. I don't think you could fit $32,000 inside a wallet, but perhaps you could buy a small lockbox. But you have to, if you're changing countries, you have to declare anything over $10,000 at the airport. Well, I don't, so I don't think presumably you- that was not money she came by, honestly. Yeah. And she didn't want to have to declare it, but she was probably yeah, declaring dude. something probably along Here. the lines of son of a bitch. Oh, God. 
Here's a question. Huh. Can the fabric out of which American money is made withstand the acids in the human stomach? Probably not. That's why she, I think she put them in little bundles, it says. Unless she didn't, which that's one of those hilarious ones. If she didn't put them in plastic, that's like, yeah. joke's on you. You yeah. went through all that for nothing. I mean, the magnetic strips, probably. Well, those are going to end up in fun places. <laughs> You're going to be able to tell. If you know how they do that website? Where is George? <laughs> Where you put in the serial number for your dollar bill and track all the places it's been. <laughs> they can totally track every place this lady poops for like the next year and a half. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's like tagging an animal in the wild and then re-releasing them to see what their migration patterns are. <sighs> I... <laughs> this is why, incidentally, people, this is why if you ever eat in an establishment where the employees are handling both your food and the money, you should stop eating there. Yes. Because money is one of the dirtiest, most germ laden things in the world. And also, money is disgusting. Think about the places people carry it legally in their shoe, in their bra, and then there's people smuggling it in their stomachs. You think it goes to the laundromat? You think that's what money laundering is? Because I'm here to tell you it's not. Don't eat food by people who've been handling money. We, we have a ton of Florida this week, and this one... A woman accused of swiping tampons, crystal light, and other items got locked up after police found her trying to hide in a cardboard box. Allison Strasser, 47, was arrested January in connection with the December 14th caper at a CVS store store manager told police he spotted a woman loading items identified as Sutter home wine, Tampax tampons, laundry detergent, cosmetic items, crystallite drink mitch and nail polish in a books bag. The manager confronted the woman who emptied the floral book print book bag and fled in a Florida Explorer and like the Explorer to her home. Uh, they saw a sweater Strasser wore in the video um, as the officer knocked on the door. Another officer went to the back of home, reported seeing Strasser run through the house and into the garage. Police found Strasser sitting in a large cardboard box, trying to conceal herself from view. Solid snake, you are not, lady. That's and not I hate this reporter. Yeah. Concealed in a box could be considered thinking outside the box in terms of hiding places. <sighs> Not the way Not to pad right. the word count. I. I just it. Lady. What the fuck? I mean, obviously she needed some groceries. Oh, my God. The, the writer's name, who I hate now, is Greenlee, which I think wasn't that the name of the really dumb detective in Boondock Saints? A huge fucking guy. Yeah, the one they kept getting like yeah. shit on by Willem Dafoe. Yeah. Suddenly it's all so clear. I I mean, it sounds like a really bad case of PMS. Wine, tampons, makeup. You see, I didn't want to go there. I'll let you go there. I'm not going there. I'm just. <laughs> You're after I just. Can you imagine that? Your dignity is gone. Your dignity is you are in your own garage hiding in a cardboard box from the police because you stole crystal light. Yeah. And fled. You can probably, I mean, if you're like, all right, I'm not going to lie. Tampons I get. Like if you're broke and you need to, that's a necessity. That's a yeah. thing that you really kind of need in order to function in society. Hmm. It's kind of hard to MacGyver your way through that. Yes. I don't even want Crystal to Crystal light, that. you could probably just drink water for a few days. Right. Till that next paycheck comes through. 
wine. I mean, I don't know if you really need to get drunk that bad, learn how to make moonshine in your toilet like they do in prison. Honey, she's stealing. She's Where you're going to go. So you'll have plenty of opportunity. She's stealing tampons from the CVS and hiding in a box. I think she really does need to get drunk. Badly. Hmm. Because that's pretty much this is my life right there. You just I would pay for the alcohol for that poor lady at that point. All right. What you're about to see, ladies and gentlemen. I'm first I'm going to inform you this is a real picture. This is not a fake. And I researched the hell out of this. This came from um, a French uh, agency, Agency France Press, uh, the French Press Agency. This is real, and this photo is real. This is not photoshopped. You see that? That, my friends, is a cell phone up a man's butt. Oh. Oh my. Sri Lanka phone smuggling pre prisoner betrayed by ringing butt. A Sri Lankan prisoner who tried to hide his mobile phone during a search uh, was caught when guards heard ring tones from his rear end. That, I mean. Do, 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 ding, do, 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 ding, do, do. Well. I mean, That's not is that a time when you really want the phone on vibrate? Oh, God damn. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I, uh, this quote is amazing. The man had concealed the phone inside his person. And oh, this is a quote. This is an actual quote. Unfortunately for him, the phone rang at the wrong time. And guards knew he had a phone at the wrong end. <laughs> yeah. And Lydia, you win the chat. Can you hear me now? <laughs> <laughs> it's, I mean, the fact that he had service. I know! Is impressive. Oh Half my God. time, I can't even get more than two bars in my home. He got two bars so. in his ass. The fact that he was in a prison, which is a big steel and concrete structure, and the phone was up his rectum, that's impressive. I mean, I want to know who his carrier is, kind of. Blah has another great one. Booty call. <laughs> I just... <laughs> you know whoever called him? He is... How... You shouldn't have called me! Why, dude? You just... You shouldn't have freaking called me! Why? Because I mean, the phone was in my butt. Yeah, like that's this might be the first reverse butt dial ever. <laughs> <laughs> like your your butt calls people, but how many times do you have to say that someone called your butt? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Oh, oh God. Oh. And I do want to say this picture, this x-ray. That Is that a very uncomfortable looking angle. Yeah, it sure is. It sure is. Cause look, like he didn't yeah. get it in straight. Yeah, that's see, this is straight. And this is not straight. That's an angle. Yeah. Oh, God have mercy. I just, you know, that doctor is framing that shit. Yeah, that's his Christmas card this year. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about giving you a call this Christmas, but. Sorry, that might have been one too many. <laughs> I think we've learned this week that Tara can make a whole bunch of butt jokes in a, in a hurry. It's like that Tosh.0 oh, sick. How many comments can you make in 60 seconds? 
I just, I don't put things in your butt. It may seem like a good idea at the time. And sometimes, you know, consenting adults, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, but those are designed to go in. Stick they, to things that are made for that purpose. Right. And I use lube. Don't put this. Oh, God. You, what, oh, did. Oh, ow. Yeah. Well, I just have to. That, and then, you know what? Oh, my God. I can see it. That's not a touch screen. No, it has little keys. It's like a Blackberry or something. Oh, it's got ridges. Oh, God. Ow. The ruffles have ridges. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, we learned. So good luck ever getting that thing clean. <laughs> In between those keys. Oh. Uh. We learned this week that, well, tampons are a social necessity, but alcohol isn't. Nor is crystal light. Nor is crystal light. And I drink crystal light, but sometimes you just skip it and drink water for a few days if you don't have the gross me money. Like, yeah. crystal light is a luxury, not a necessity. I know. Just don't, don't, don't do that. Um, we've learned... People However put, bad the blizzard is, at least it's not raining spiders. Oh my god, yes! I could have two feet of spiders outside my window right now, and that would really suck. This is what comes of starting to name weather patterns after, like, mythical characters. Like, you thought Tropical Storm Gandalf was funny? Great! Here's Spider Storm Shelob. This there, Mother Nature has a fucked up sense of humor, people. When are we going to get pollution form smog? Soon. Soon. Um, we've learned that it might be a convenient place. It might seem like a good idea at the time. Many of these seem like a good idea at the time. Your stomach is not a backpack. It's not a suitcase. It's not a duffel bag. It is a bag of acid inside your body that's held in check by a very thin membrane of skin which has to constantly regenerate because that acid is chewing it away don't much put like, things in there much like the vagina it's not a pocket no in fact your human body has no pockets it doesn't you are not you are made without pockets you without receptacles for carrying we are not marsupials no. Um, we learned tonight that I don't care what God tells you, you're not Obama. Yeah. That that's pretty that and while it's great to be proactive, cracking down on the toddler prostitute market, probably not the absolute necessity you think. And also, be careful who you give shit for saying fuck in public, because they just might save your fucking kids from a fucking crazy man who says he's fucking Obama, you fuckers. Sore point. Fuck yeah. It's a sore point. I get people well, all the time. Well, does he say he's Obama or does he say he's fucking Obama? Because that's two different sentences. <laughs> and finally, we learned tonight, running naked, shirt shoot, Search shoes service that that you can be cute about it, but don't be cute when you're running naked in front of men with guns. Yeah. Because they have and hot coffee. Ha oh, God. That nothing good is coming out of that because mm -hmm. he has to fill out a report when he uses the taser. But nobody makes him fill out a report if he uses coffee. Oops, I spilled my coffee. On All your penis. Your Long ding dong penis. <laughs> it's fun to say, isn't it? And we learned that my boyfriend's a hero. Uh, uh, I'm a happy hippo. Uh. <laughs> I'd like to remind you folks at home that thing vibrates. Stop. Stop. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> 